Namaste, and welcome to this yoga class from beginner to intermediate levels to activate the whole body, build strength and release tension. So let's get started here. Find a comfortable seated position and begin by doing half moon circles with the neck. So that means not going back. So make the chin go to the chest, let it fall. And then find the stretch by gently rolling from one side to the other. Connect to your breath. Breathe deeply but softly. Make the inhalation the same length as the exhalation and pay very close attention to your breath throughout this whole warm-up. Use the breath to help you find the tight spots and the best angles of the stretches for your body. If you find a particularly tight spot, please feel free to stay there for a bit and breathe. Continue for two more deep breaths. Now come back to center and stretch over to the right side. You can bring fingertips, hands, or even elbow to the ground and keep your heart and chest open and elongate from the left hip all the way to the left fingertips. Breathe into it. One more breath. And slowly with resistance, come back to center and to the other side. Stretch over to the left side. Fingertips, hand or elbow to the ground. Open chest, both hips grounded. And breathe, stretching your whole right side body. Last breath. Beautiful, come back to center and let's go on to all fours for cat cow. Hands directly underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Find your neutral tabletop position and grip through the fingertips, activating all the fingers, taking pressure away from the wrists. Inhale, arch the back, open the chest, enjoy. Exhale, round, tailbone in, squeeze the belly button into the spine, chin to chest. Again, inhale, arch, open, breathe, exhale, round. Separate the shoulder blades from each other. Last one like this. Inhale, arch the back, relax the belly, open the chest. Exhale, separate the shoulder blades, belly button to spine, round, chin to chest. Great, now try a few waves. So rounding, putting the way forward, opening the chest at the top, leading back with the tailbone, and then rounding as you go back. Inhale, curl forward, open, exhale, lead back with the tailbone as you round. Two more. Inhale, open forward, exhale, curl back. As you come forward again, inhale, open, and exhale, curl back. 
Great. Now slowly tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back to downward facing dog. Really push yourself away from the floor, gripping through the fingertips to push your weight towards your feet, especially towards your heels. Relax the head, say yes and no. Open the crease of the elbows to the front, rotate them to the front of the room. So your elbows are going back and the elbow crease front. Ground through the heels if possible, or if not, then keep the heels reaching down, head relaxed. You can sway from side to side, alternate bending one knee and then the other, or stay still. We'll take about three more deep breaths here. On your last exhale, come forward into a plank position. Find a neutral position with a spine, not too high, not dipping too low. Really activate the core by pulling the belly button into the spine, pulling the low belly in, pushing the floor away from you and moving the weight more back by reaching the heels toward the back of the room and the belly button in, so you feel your core fire up. Slowly roll to the right side of your right foot. You can keep the feet stacked or the left foot in front into a side plank. Take the weight away from your hand and into the side of your core. Lift the right hip high to activate the whole side body. One more breath here. And come back to center and to the other side. Roll to the left side of your left foot, so to the outer edge. The feet can be stacked or the right foot in front. Take the weight away from your left wrist by pulling that left hip, left hip up, pushing back with the feet and up, firing up the core. Keep breathing. and return to a regular plank. If you can, keep the knees up as you lower slowly down, elbows pointing back into your body to Chaturanga and hold for one breath. And then release into the ground. Well done. Fingertips in front of you, more to the outside of your mat, probably if you don't have a white mat like me. And then inhale, open the chest with back strength into this cobra variation. Shoulders down and back. Open the chest, enjoy this opening for one more breath. And then exhale slowly down. Now full hands under the shoulders this time for a more typical cobra. First we do a baby cobra, so elbows in and just lift the upper back, mostly with back strength, looking forward, pushing the heart forwards. Feel the strength between the shoulder blades the opening in your chest, and take one more breath. 
Then if you'd like, you can push yourself higher into a cobra, maybe with straight arms. If it pinches at the low back, please don't do it. Keep the elbows bent. <sighs> Otherwise, tuck the tailbone in a little bit. Shoulders back and down again. Open chest. Maybe look up. One more breath. And slowly come down. Lift yourself up into plank, activate the core, and go down to chaturanga again. Exhale, inhale, upward facing dog this time. Exhale, downward facing dog. Well done. Inhale, lift the right leg up, keep it straight and squared. Flex the foot and make sure the toes are pointing down. And then lift it as high as you can by activating the glutes. Keep the legs straight if possible. Great, now bring that right knee into the chest. Exhale all the air out. Pull it very close to the chest and then step the right foot forward. Drive back with the left heel. Come up by activating the right glutes. High lunge. Tuck the tailbone in. Bend the back knee a little bit. Make sure your torso is straight in the center, not leaning forward or back. And then re-straighten the back leg. Let the hips sink and feel a stretch in the front of the left thigh and an activation throughout the quads and the glute of the right leg. Bring the arms up if you want and take two more breaths here. Bring the back heel down 90 degrees if possible so the toes are pointing to the side of your mat into a warrior two. Keep opening that right knee out. Grounding through all corners of both feet, especially the back foot. And then from your heart, open your arms out like wings. One more breath here. Inhale, slide the left hand down the back leg and open to reverse warrior, just one breath. Then bring that right hand down by the foot if possible for extended side angle. If not, you can keep it here. Stretch the other arm over. If you can, maybe bring the right hand on the outside of the right foot. Wherever you are, take one more deep breath. Then bring that left hand down as well. Frame the foot. Back heel lifts and bring the foot back to plank. Reactivate the core. Inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. One breath. Push yourself back. Ground down through the heels. Relax the head. Inhale, lift the left leg up but keep the hips square. So flex that left foot, toes pointing down, and then lift it as high as possible while keeping the legs straight and activating that left glute. Mm. 
And exhale, bring that left knee into the chest as close as possible. Exhale all the air out. And then plant the left foot in front. Drive back with the back heel. Ground through the left foot. Activate the left glute and quadricep. And lift yourself up, keeping the hips in the center. Bend the knee first, tuck the tailbone to make sure your hips are centered and squared. Then re-straighten the back leg as you drive back with that heel. Feel a stretch in the front of the right thigh and an activation of the left glute and left thigh. Lift the arms up. Take two more breaths. Great, now bring the right heel down 90 degrees if possible. So the right toes are pointing to the side of your mat. Keep opening that left thigh out to open the hips Keep grounding through both feet, sinking the hips slow while opening the hips. Especially, make sure you keep weight on the outer edge of the right foot. Once you find your center, you can straighten the arms like wings out of your heart and look to the left fingertips. One more breath. Now inhale, slide the right hand down the right leg. Reverse, warrior, one breath. Then bring the left hand in front on the inside of that left foot, if possible. Otherwise, stay here with the forearm. If you can, then bring the whole hand to the floor and the more advanced version is to actually bring it on the outside of that foot. Wherever you are, reach out with that right arm, opening the chest. And then bring the right hand down as well, frame the foot, bring that left foot back to plank, Reactivate the core, inhale, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, downward dog. Take one more deep breath in down dog, stretching deeper than you have in the whole class. One breath of deep stretching. And then bend the knees to the ground, toes together, big toes together, knees wide apart. The wider you make your knees, the deeper the stretch will be in your groin and inner thighs. So find your own edge where you can still ground the hips down to the heels. And then maybe relax down like this, or if you can, then bring the forehead over the hands or maybe even reaching the fingertips all the way forward and bringing the chest to the ground. Wherever you are, relax there. You can relax the forehead on the ground, close your eyes. And take three deep breaths, melting the hips open. Slowly come up, 
bring the knees back together and sit down. Bring the right leg on top of the left, right knee stacked on top of the left knee if possible. So it looks like this. So you're pulling your bent right leg to the left and your bent left leg to the right. Ground through both sitting bones into the ground. Become tall. Inhale, arms up. Stretch, exhale, fold forward over the legs as much as you can. Take two deep breaths here. Come up, bring the left arm on top of the right. Bend at the elbows and maybe bring the palms together or you just grab onto the hands like this. You can make it deeper by grabbing onto the outsides of the shoulders, walking the hands out and then rebinding. Now pull the arms towards each other so that you open a space between the shoulders while keeping the shoulders down, bringing the elbows higher up and breathe here. Great, release the arms. Keep the legs very similar to how they are, except that you bring the sole of the right foot to the ground. Keep that right knee in as you twist to the right side. Open the chest. Try to keep that right sits bone grounded. If you want to make it deeper, you can put the elbow outside of the leg. Pushing with the arm into that right leg. Take one more deep breath here. Stay tall. Opening the chest. And return to center. Other side. So left leg on top of the right leg. Stack the knees as best as you can. Pull the left leg to the right, the right leg to the left. Reground through your sits bones. Stay tall. Inhale the arms up. Stretch. Exhale. Fold forward as best as you can. Two deep breaths. Slowly come up and bring the right arm on top of the left. Bind the forearms and maybe put the palms together. If you want to get deeper, you can walk the fingertips further back on the shoulders and then turn the arms again to bind them. Feel an opening behind the shoulders. Keeping the shoulders down, elbows up and breathe. and slowly release. Now bring the sole of the left foot onto the mat. Bring that knee into you with the right hand and twist to the left side, opening the chest and staying tall, grounding through both sits bones and breathing. 
you want to get deeper, you can hook that right elbow or right arm on the outside of the left thigh. Remembering to stay tall and use your core strength here as well. Both sit bones down. One more breath. And release to the center. Great. Do any little movements you may still want to do. And we end the practice here, seated. Finding a comfortable seated position, whatever that is for you. Lotus, half lotus, cross-legged on the knees. Rolling the shoulders forward, up and back. Remaining tall and lifted, yet grounded. Turning the palms up, letting the hands rest on the thighs and closing the eyes. Taking a moment to thank ourselves for having taken this time to practice, to listen and to show up. Don't control your breath anymore. Simply observe it going in and out. And notice if there are any differences compared to how you felt before you started this practice. Without judging, just notice. I thank you deeply for having practice with me and I hope you enjoyed this class. If you did, please leave me a comment, subscribe and turn on the notifications. This really, really helps me continue making free yoga classes here on YouTube for you. Let's take one more breath together. Inhale, open the arms up, stretch up, grow tall and exhale hands at the heart in prayer. Namaste.